We're going to go through Mammoth Dome. Look for the flow stone. Look for the cave formations. There's a rip, uh, waterfall, but you won't be able to see it. I'll meet you one more stop on the top of Mammoth Dome. We are going up, and I'll get some more questions up there. <laughs> we try to get up there, don't we? I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. It's all right. This will be my stair stepper workout for the day. Yeah, the first steps would be going up the whole work. That's right. Clubs, watch your heads up here. It feels warm down there, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It's kind of amazing. It's warmer than usual. Yes, that's what I mean. Yep. Yeah. Do you notice up here it feels a little bit different? Mm hmm. This is how it feels down there when it's not a hot. Mm. But it's not a warmer water back flooding into the game. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm generally a cool weather guy, but I'm glad I brought my jacket. Everybody's different. They always ask at the visitor center, should I take a jacket? And I say, I don't know. Should you? <coughs> Whatever you'd wear in nice, cool fall temperatures. That's right. There's a hole right there. Be careful. <laughs> I guess so. And the river used to be through here? Yes, so I didn't talk about this much, but the river, there's hundreds of them, uh, hundreds of streams. So this would have been one of them at one time, full water to the ceiling like a pipe. And the rivers now are down lower, so this has been abandoned, kept down deeper. Are these the cage we're talking about back in here? Uh, watch out. where he had to crawl, or? No, you said watch out for the, I thought you said caves. Um, no. I said we're going to see some flowstone formations later in the Mammoth Dome. Uh, through here, I basically, I haven't told you anything except watch your head, watch your step. You may have said something over overhaul that I forgot. <coughs> Folks, Stephen Bishop had to crawl through here. This was full of sand and dirt up to where your shoulders are. It's natural, we just dug it out. <laughs> Uh, he was exploring, wondering where this went, so he got his lantern and crawled on through. 1840. How wow. far would you crawl? By myself. <laughs> to go exploring. In 1840. Oh, was he by himself at that time? Uh, usually, yes. Yeah. So when he's not working, he can come back down and go exploring. Uh -huh. uh, some visitors actually want to be real adventurous and go with him. Sure. But that would require an extra gratuity. Uh-huh. The slaves were allowed to keep their tips. So those names of the ceilings? Uh huh. That, uh, if a visitor did that themselves or if a slave did it for them, they weren't allowed unless they paid them first. No. Yeah, sorry, you can't write your name on the wall. I've yeah. got 35 cents. Oh, of course you can. That's right. Let me have that 35 cents. Here's your candle. That's right. Because lantern, of course, you're holding the lantern. You can't smoke your name with the lantern. Mm. You're holding it where the flame is. There's a now, flame shield. That uh, lantern that you have, yes. is that an old lantern? No. No. It is a replica. We wouldn't, uh, literally, there are some broken 180 year old lanterns in here we do not touch. They're in very good condition. They hardly have, all, they hardly have rested or anything, but they're very, very delicate. Yeah. Um, and so it's a replica built the same exact way. And it's burning not the same material either. It's also it's also burning a very clean burning uh, paraffin wax lantern. Okay. Be clouds of smoke. I would have smelled like bacon the entire tour if that was a real. <laughs> good question. Yeah. A weak smoky flame, a lot of dimmer than when I showed you. Yeah, watch your head and shoulders. Head and shoulders. Head and shoulders, knees and toes. Knees and toes are littered. That's right. <laughs> Tall people, you know what to do. Keep watching your head, please. Don't stop. Be careful. Be 
Oh, sounds like a shower. <laughs> you won't be able to see where it's falling from, but it's over here on your left. Wow, look at that. When you look up, you will get ripped on, so watch where you're looking up. 192 inches from top to bottom. Come around the corner here and look up carefully. Wow. From the very bottom to the very top, it was almost 200 feet tall, folks. Stephen Bishop was the first human here, probably about 1840. He called this Mammoth Dome. And then he saw this big tower over here. No, he didn't. No yeah. tower. Ooh. He had to go all the way back. We've got a tower, fortunately for us. No complaining when you see the tower. 